And we have another traffic update for you this morning. New signage being installed leading up to the I-16 I-95 interchange. These new signs sit over both sides of I-16 showing upcoming exits like the new exit from 16 West onto 95 South. It's the latest development in this project, which has been going on since January of 2020. Two young people are recovering this morning after a shooting in Chatham County. The shooting happened on Little River Drive off Quaco Drive around 530 Thursday afternoon. Both of those young people were taken to the hospital. Chatham County Police said that they have made two arrests in connection to the shooting. And that shooting comes after the Chatham County Police Department released their year in crime stats and it shows a spike in gun related assaults. Shay Schrader is joining me live outside of the Chatham County Commission building this morning where the police chief is going to go over these numbers to the commission today. What are those numbers showing? Yeah, Kyle, according to CCP data, gun related assaults in the unincorporated part of the county have been steadily on the rise for the past six years. And in 2023 alone, there were 101 instances of it. Now, I do want to give you a breakdown on those numbers. There were 36 instances where a gun was shot at a person in 2023, and in 15 of those cases, victims were hit. Five of those 15 people died. There were three instances of pistol whipping in the past year and 11 times a building with people in it was shot at. 51 of these incidents involved a gun being pointed at someone in a threatening manner, but not discharged. And then there were also 13 road rage incidents involving guns. Now compare that to 2022 numbers where there were 73 uh, aggravated assaults in the unincorporated part of Chatham County. Now, like Kyle said, CCPD Chief Jeff Hadley is expected to present these numbers to the Chatham County Commission today and give some context uh, to why those are on the rise and what mitigation efforts that CCPD is taking in the coming years uh, to maybe hopefully curb some of this. Uh, that's at 930 AM. WTOC will be in the room, so stick with us for the latest updates. For now, live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. New at Daybreak leaders and residents.